Um, sadly, I want to get rid of everything, but I also don't think I'm in the position to. I think I have to keep everything because if this is Imp Warlock, I'm going to get run down really quickly. So I need to just do everything I can to stay alive. Unpopular opinion, this deck should be slow even if Siren nerf gets reverted. Wait, so you're saying that this deck is just in general too slow. Which I guess makes sense, that might be why- Because I keep feeling like my pop-off turn is coming one turn late. Like if I'm able to pop off one turn sooner, I'm able to apply enough pressure to not just like insta lose the game. We're playing this game for tempo by the way. Okay, in my head, I'm like, Pyroblast is awesome. But realistically, Fireball is better. Siren should be four mana. It's ridiculous. It's five in this meta. I agree. I do. I really do agree with that. Drawing a ton of cards. It's fine. We're just going to go second flame and ping. Do I want to coin out the Vicious Slither Spear as well? The answer is yes, I do. Actually, no, we don't want to coin anything out. We'll, we'll keep these as is. We don't need to coin out second flame. We'll just trade there real quick. It's not that big of a deal. It's just, it's hard because at four mana, how do we know it won't become insane? Like this deck right now is not doing great. It's like 35% win rate over 20 games, which is not incredible. However, however, it's felt really close to being really good on multiple occasions. Like, it's been so gosh darn close a couple of times. We're gonna do this. Um, and then now we're guaranteed to not overdraw because this is gonna go away. We're not gonna play anything else. We can't really play the Siren yet. But we can play it next turn. Um, and pop off turn six. And that's what I'm saying. Like, we have to pop off turn six, which just feels a little bit slow. But if I could go this coin one drop. Actually, no. Yeah, if I could go with this and it was four mana, coin two drop and go off, like that would be so much better. Eh, I don't know. Whatever. I'm gonna get a Crush Claw Enforcer. Boom. Draw a Naga. We're, I know it, it, it messes up part of the combo, but I think I kind of just need to do this. We have to give up one of our... Um, spells the coin to start popping off right now reform is active oh my gosh reform is active oh no like this is what they get to do <laughs> this is what i get to do okay we have to go super duper fast doesn't even really matter we're gonna do that then we're gonna go room door up here you can maybe fireball that i guess this is not None of these are good. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, how many need to die? One more needs to die. Okay. We'll hit here. We need to still play a Naga, right? I always, I, 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 I messed up. Okay. Naga. Cool. This. Then we're going to go coin. Then we're going to go Naga. Then we're going to go like this. Okay. 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 If we can survive one more turn, flame strike is going to be an absolute game changer. We're going to kill this off. Then we're going to play a Naga. Then we're going to... Do I want to play Ignite here or do I want to play this? I don't think it really matters. What am I on right now? We're on a spell. Um, two mana spell, kill of a 3-3. Three, three. We miss out on some burst damage, but that might not end up being that bad. No, we can go Ignite and then ping it. We can go Ignite and then ping it. And then we can Frozen Touch this as well, just to try to limit how much damage I take. We, again, lose Burst Damage, but that might end up being okay. We're just trying to take as little damage as possible. We ran out of Nagas, which is definitely a bummer. This Warlock is just able to apply too much pressure. I mean, look, they literally require almost no setup and have probably one of the best six drops in the entire game. I need, like, the perfect setup to get a smaller board on turn six. It's just insane. Okay, to be fair, Miracle Rogue, you can sometimes go off turn three, like I lost to two 10-10 stealth minions turn three. That's true. I You can sometimes lose to something like that. Not a Rust Rock Viper, man. Oh, I guess everything dies, which is fine. I mean, it's not the end of the world. I mean, if we can find another Siren, 
guard. That's fine. We're gonna draw some cards here. Um, what do I want? What do I want? What do I want? I guess what I could also do is I could also just play this to get a Naga. See if we can find like a... Wait, what are you? You're a pirate? Thank God that's a pirate because I played it and if there was no target, it would have just gone away. We're gonna go build a snowman. Just to get it on the board. He can only give me one curse and we don't overdraw, so we'll take at most like three damage. I need to just play this out in a way where I don't play that many cards. So that way he can't give me that many curses. No Spider-Man outfit? No, it's too difficult to put on and go pee in. Obviously, I wouldn't pee in the suit. Um, but if I had to go pee, having to like unzip it and then zip it back up. You guys know me. I drink a pretty decent amount of water. I pee a whole bunch. Oh my word, dude. <laughs> My bad for not killing your one minion on the board. He can give me two curses. It'll be seven damage. It's not lethal. We still have a fireball. I mean, I'm not thrilled with my state of the hand, but I also don't hate it. I think we could win. Oh no. Oh no. No curses though, that's cool. Multicaster will draw me, how many cards? Three? Stop. No shot, you drew two of them right away. Oh no, this just keeps getting worse and worse. It literally just keeps getting worse and worse, dude. Of course, of course, of course. Okay, um, if we can top deck the siren. We don't top deck the siren. Can this be the siren? It's not the siren. Um, are you the siren? It doesn't even really matter at this point. I have to play this on the off chance that I can find it. If I if I burn the siren, I mean, it sucks, obviously. Yeah, whatever. Um, trade this. We find Ignite. I mean, if I play Flurry, what, that's three, four damage. I live with one and I don't have to lose right away. Yeah, I guess we'll play it and we'll just see what happens. I mean, I only get one curse. I'm not dead. If I can top deck Siren next turn, I'm fine. Or I'm not oh, dead. Um, we can go Siren into School Teacher into Ignite into Little Noggling into a whole bunch of stuff like we can definitely get the ball rolling but we have to top deck siren or rust drop viper and then trade it into siren basically we have a one in six chance of getting the siren here doesn't really matter i'm not dead you silly goose my hand is full i planned this perfectly can i get the siren okay you have to be the siren off of this or i'm dead okay this has to be the siren or i'm dead Okay, um... <laughs> okay, we tried our best, we couldn't find the other Siren. You know, funny enough, this was actually one of the matchups I really, really wanted to play. And we're gonna keep all these things here because it's gonna be kind of slow. This is going to be generate a spell with the coin, play this turn two, this turn three, this turn four. I'm fine using the coin early. This is one of the things that I really, really wanted to play against because it's going to be slow enough to where I can pop off. Which is really all I care about. I will take, I mean, Snap Freeze is just a good cheap spell. Cold Case takes up board space, which we don't wanna do because it messes up a ton of the Sirens. Explosive Runes is good damage, but we're gonna take Snap Freeze. We want cheap spells over anything else. And um, we know we have the Spirit Lash Siren in our hand, which is awesome. Do I want to trade or do I want to just go face? Honestly, I'm down to just go face. I don't think I really care about these things that much. Another spell coiler is cool. Nah, we'll trade. We'll trade. We'll trade. We'll trade. The little chip damage from this one minion won't be the end of the world. And I just want to make sure that I can uh, control the board well. 
And then we get to kill this 2-2, and then after that, maybe we'll play more normal. Boom, boom, pass. School teacher. Okay, really good. We just need to play that within the next two turns, but honestly, we're just going to play it next turn. It's no big deal. And we have... We need to draw one more spell, I think. I think in order to be comfortable to pop off, we need to draw one more spell. Because it's going to be, boom, one drop. Arcane intellect, two drop, one drop, three drop. We get another school teacher. It's not bad, that can give me some draw. So I'm, I'm, I'm actually down and this draws me a card as well. So it's cool. We'll go face for three. I don't care about a one, one. We actually might need to play one of the Nogglings. So we're gonna play school teacher again and then just play one of the Nogglings that we get. No way, dude. Okay, we're gonna have to find something that does like one damage so we can kill this. Maybe shooting star, Kona cold. One of the two would be really, really good here. Boom. Um, I do want another card draw. I do, but I also don't because it's not great for me in this situation. I also don't want to transform a card. We'll take card draw. And then we're just gonna go, I guess, snap freeze, sadly, to empty out my hand a little bit. Golly, this is lame. Oh, this sucks. I don't want to overdraw, we'll double trade here. We're gonna go probably Siren next turn, Flurry. No, Siren, one drop, Flurry, one drop, Arcane Intellect. I'm kind of hoping he wipes my board, but he's if he doesn't wipe my board, maybe we don't have to commit super hard. With every step. Maybe we can just keep going face and putting out minions and pop off in like a turn or two. Because I mean, this is, this is solid stuff that we have right here. This isn't bad. Rest Survivor being traded away is fine. Kind of ignoring chat because I thought I was going to go for a pop-off turn, but I also don't think I want to anymore. I actually don't think I want to go for a pop-off turn anymore. Let's just let's just develop a board and, and, and get a couple more things. Yeah, I actually don't care about this at all. Okay, I definitely did mess up a little bit here, though. I need a cheap spell. Come on, man. I guess Mass Polymorph is good late game. Fine, we'll go Flurry. And then we'll just go face with these. It's fine. Was hoping to kill that off. But I mean... I need him to wipe my board before I commit. Because, like, what, what's the point in committing this turn? There's no point in committing this turn. Here's a quality city tax. We commit next turn. Now we can actually play the game. I'm extremely ready. Now I'm going to ignore chat because I actually need to focus on what's about to happen. And Mass Polymorph does help against the Jailer play because it does get rid of some of that um, as well. So we're gonna go boom into boom, draw a card into spell into boom, draw a card into spell into wait, oh no into Amalgam to get another one. We'll take, ooh, three damage to all enemies. That's a bit expensive, but I'm gonna take it actually. We're, we're continuing on to spell. Then we're gonna play Naga. Shoot, we're gonna play Naga. We'll take this one. We're gonna play spell. We're gonna play Naga to discover a spell. I'm gonna play that. Fine, we'll take explosive runes. We're gonna go boom. And then, oh god. If we take this, are we gonna overdraw? No, we're not gonna overdraw. Then we can go one more spell. Probably second flame so we don't overdraw. Uh, shoot. It's just gonna be this then. And then it's gonna be ping one of them and pass. He just played an equality consecrate, so this should be okay. This was a bit expensive. Maybe I should have just gone with the other one. He's able to kill off my siren, unfortunately, but I think we can just recommit to the siren and go crazy. All these minions end up living, which is pretty cool. We don't even need to recommit to the siren. We can just play the five nine like this turn. Oh, uh, I could have killed off one more minion with the first flame, second flame, but I just chickened out. That's fine. We're gonna go boom and then boom and then keep going face. 
I just wanted the bigger stats, honestly. And we want to find Restaurant Viper. Okay, now that the big turn's up, uh, we will go back. He has two qualities in hand already. Knight didn't draw anything. That's fair. I should have been paying attention. Wait, no, it did draw something. Oh, the second knight didn't do anything. I guess it could have been Righteous Defense, but I guess it doesn't matter. Wait, what? Why would you pump this up? Why? What? That just doesn't make any sense. Like, yeah, you city tax there, but okay, sure, whatever. I think we're gonna go Siren and try to draw a ton of cards and play Restaurant Viper if we can find it. We find Restaurant Viper? Actually, really good for me. Actually, really, really good. I need to full commit to the board here, though. I need to full commit to the board. You might be wondering why. The answer is pretty simple. He's going to play Jailer next turn, which means we need to have this set up so he can pop off. We didn't draw any Nagas, which is a bit of a bummer, but he wants to play the Jailer this turn. Restaurant Viper doesn't do anything. It's explosive. Oh, he thought it might have been Objection. Oh, okay, never mind. Maybe I did troll. Interesting. It's fine. We do still have a lot of damage, though, and we can still second flame that and go off. I thought he was going to play Jailer, but I forgot I had my thing out there, which is kind of crazy. We'll draw... We'll draw some cards. Just wanted to empty some space. I know we're not going to draw, like, ten, but it's fine. Ruined Orb. I don't really want to play Flurry here. Ruined Orb. Get a card. Counterspell? Mess with his brain a little bit. We'll go Flurry. It's fine. We don't need to play the other one. But that, he might think it's another objection. I did try to pick it fairly quickly, so it'll throw him off. We want to try to find the other Ignites. And or Frozen Touch. Oh my gosh, he called my bluff. No! He's going to have Reno. Oh god, he's going to have Reno. Oh, that's not good. How much damage can I do to him right now? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We'll see what this gives me. Fireball? Wait, is that lethal? Is that lethal? I've got six plus this and ping. He's just dead, right? Holy moly, we actually won. Okay. Some minor misplays, but I think they went well. Yeah, we're just gonna hard mulligan for the siren. Uh, if we can get the siren relatively early on, that'd be great. Well, I mean, we'll play the slither spear as well as ruined orb. Hopefully a spell school of another type. Um, and then multicaster turn four. So that way we can draw a couple more cards and just get the ball rolling here. Is it impressive to hit diamond on my first expansion? Yeah, dude, what the heck? I mean, just hitting any rank. Like, if, if your goal was, I want to hit gold, or I want to hit plat or diamond or whatever, and you achieve that goal, yeah, it's impressive. Don't let anybody tell you that it's not. I mean... The amount of times I've had people be like, oh, this guy's like 4,000 legend. He's trash. People shouldn't watch him. Like, who cares, man? I hit legend. I don't need other people, like, I don't need other people's approval, <laughs> if that makes sense. We're going to take that for another spell school so we can play multicaster and draw two cards. If you think it's impressive and you're proud of where you got to, that's all that matters is what I'm trying to say. I'm not the best with words a lot of the time, but that's what I was trying to get at. I hit diamond 10, but I feel like it doesn't count because I used imp lock. Okay, did you use imp curse lock or just imp lock? Because just, just imp lock is acceptable. Imp curse lock, and we're gonna have some words. Um, okay, actually, maybe I don't play ignite. Maybe I just draw as many cards as possible right away. We can play school teacher next turn. It's not a new spell school, so multicaster doesn't feel quite as good. Straight up aggro? Okay. Still a little lame, but acceptable. You know, Curse Imp Lock is the one that by far is the best deck in the game, with like a 55-56% win rate right now, which is a lot harder for people to deal with. Um, so yours is fine. It's passable. We got the Spirit Lash Siren, which means we want a little noggling off of this. Um, we're not going to play it this turn or next turn. Anybody? Draw a mech and reduce its cost. The Amalgam is a mech. One mana, draw a card and reduce its cost, I think is the best option that I have of those. 
So an external probably just be arcane intellect, honestly, along with like the spell coiler, because we know that this is going to give me one imp or one naga, which will give me another naga. And we're going to be drawing one, two, three, one, two cards and getting another spell. So yeah, turn six, are going to pop off. They can't play scabs. That's annoying, but shouldn't be that big of a deal. The only way I get like genuinely wrecked is if one of them's perjury, they get a mage spell and it's the um, objection. And this might slow me down by a turn. Let's draw cards first. See if it changes anything. We'll play this instead, or not instead, but this after. It's gonna be double cross, it's fine. It is double cross and perjury. It's always double cross and perjury. And I will take... I'll take this for survival. I think ultimately, surviving might be the number one thing. We're gonna try to push some damage face. Doesn't really matter where you are. You create great and enjoyable content. Well, thank you. I wasn't necessarily talking about myself. I was using myself as an example to just not care about what people say. Um, and just you do you. I can't play Spirit Latch Siren this turn. Perjury completely messes me up here. We're gonna have to play Treasure Guard next turn and probably Ice Barrier just to test counter spell as well as objection. Um, and then we can commit to the turn, turn seven, which is still good because they use the coin and can't play scabs the following turn. So this could still end up winning me a game. It's another perjury. What is it? Is it objection or explosive runes? I'm honestly fine with explosive runes. Because at least I get to draw an extra card off of this, which is nice. Oh no, this no longer draws me a card, but it'll reduce the cost of each of these by one, which is still okay. He draws two more, we push a little bit more face damage. He's gonna get another perjury. We're gonna have to bait it out with another, um... Couple of spells, I think, here. Oh! It's not perjury, thank goodness! Okay, we can actually commit next turn, then. Okay, um... Boom, plus boom, plus boom, plus boom, plus ignite, plus another naga, hopefully, or we can discover a spell, actually. I think we should discover a spell first over all other things. No, yeah, this is going to be a really good turn. This is going to be a really good turn. We just have to go fast. We need to be quick with it. It doesn't matter what the secret is at this point. We know it's not a, a mage secret, which means he can't counter. I'm going to ignore chat again. We're going to the... um. Ignore chat phase because we're about to have our pop-off turn. I do apologize. I know that you're there. We have to go fast and I'm not the fastest thinker. I'm not good at APM decks, which can sometimes be a bit of a problem. Uh, boom into boom into we need to play a spell. So we'll play uh, this to draw some cards. Then we'll go Naga. Another one of these I guess is good. Then we'll go boom then discover a spell. Because I think we need more spells than what we currently have. Um, Rune Dorb I like more. Then we'll play Rune Dorb. I'll take Fireball. Um, we're on Naga now. So we play Naga to discover another spell. We don't necessarily want to play Fireball immediately right now. I will take Cone of Cold in case... No, Blizzard I think is better long term. Uh, then we're going to go with Ignite. Then we're going to go with Discover a Naga again. We'll discover it off of that one, I guess. It doesn't really matter. Commander Savara, we will play Fireball with the last little bit of mana that we have. And we can ping as well. So we'll go Fireball. No, wait, we can still play Inaga. Let's play Taunt, and then we get to ping as well. Okay, literally we win the game next turn with Frozen. Uh, with Frozen Touch, I guess maybe I could have kept a cheaper spell than Blizzard, just in case that ended up being a counter spell, because if it is, it's gonna suck, but... They don't really have a way of wiping the board here. I think we should be okay. But sorry, I uh, completely started ignoring chat. We're talking about Thief Rogue, Miracle Rogue, and Vander Rogue, just Rogue in general. I think Rogue in general is all right. I don't think it's necessarily that good, but I do think that there are some decks like Miracle Rogue, if you know how to play, it can be amazing. I think Thief Rogue is pretty RNG dependent though. I'm not a fan of that deck. Uh, Honestly, I kind of like this hand a lot. Like, we want to coin out the Enforcer turn uh, two, and then it'll activate this. Or we could just go Slither Spear into draw two into this turn three, and just draw as many cards as possible, save the coin for after the Siren. 
and we draw a siren. But I still, because it's a hunter, need to play around some early tempo here. We definitely still need to play around the early to- it's not a hunter, it's a thief rogue. No, I misread the situation. Your video that you quit streaming was very hard, good to see you keep the-, the No, I- okay, so yes, a little bit clickbaity, but I am done streaming and posting two videos a day and streaming as much as I have been streaming because it's just been very draining. Uh, and there are other things I want to do like play Marvel Snap or start another channel about YouTube or make sure my, my um, what's it called? My VODs channel, I actually am up to date on that. We're going to do this and actually trade because it gets to live, which is pretty good actually. But there are just a lot of things that I've, that I've wanted to do and streaming like four hours a day plus editing and thumbnails and posting two videos a day and then downloading the VOD so I could post on my other channel. It just took up so much time I couldn't really keep track of everything. Um, but yeah, it's been something that's that's genuinely bugged me for, for quite a long time. It's been... I'm not gonna say it's been like extremely hard or anything. Because at the end of the day, I am still playing Hearthstone, which is a game that I love. Making content and hanging out with you guys. Guys that I love. Uh, but... I, I can't deny the fact that it was rough and, and draining. We're gonna play this turn three, this turn four. Then turn five, I don't know what I wanna do. Because they're not gonna overdraw yet with the school teacher. I don't wanna play this turn five and then point out a noggling. I'd rather save the coin. So maybe we can just like freeze it. Or if we can get something else like an ignite, we can just like dump the ignite. School teacher, they're gonna draw two cards. We get an ignite, which I think is better because they're going to want more damage long term. And then this hits here, and it's gonna be perjury and sticky situations, which are both fine. Okay, without any minions on the board, maybe I should- No, 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 because if I play a spell, he gets sticky situations, which means it gives me a minion I can target with flurry. And if he plays just one more minion, we can- we can have things to first flame. Okay, it's actually not that big of a deal. What will your new channel be about? Uh, like I said, it's going- I'm gonna have a Marvel Snap channel. Um, and then a channel about like how to grow on YouTube based on things that I've learned while growing on YouTube. Mostly like gaming channel related stuff because it's something that I- that I'm obviously super lucky and able to do. I think this turn maybe it's just Noggling plus School Teacher. I think it might just be Noggling plus School Teacher. And we can draw cards in a little bit. Because we still have one... The problem is we have like no Nagas. I don't think they're gonna have anything big. I honestly think I just play Rust Rot Viper Ping. And we're just gonna we're just gonna put some minions out on the board. Oh no, I forgot Reckoning was a card that exists. It's actually not that bad. We're still gonna go crazy. How many spells? I've still played zero spells. We'll get a coin back, we'll get a first flame and a second flame. I don't really wanna do that, but it's okay. We're gonna go. Okay, I'm gonna ignore chat for the next couple of minutes. Well, maybe like, uh, yeah, a couple, I guess, is two minutes, because I have to plan out this turn. It's gonna be Siren, Noggling, Coin, School Teacher, First Flame, one of my own minions, or his if they have it out there, Spell Coiler, Second Flame, and then maybe Commander Savara, I guess? Depending? You're really gonna hit that? Okay, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. When do ranks reset? Ranks are gonna reset, um, next time. Why is the high in quotations? It's high legend. I mean, I was high legend, like, a week ago before I started playing more for fun stuff, so. That's why it's high legend, because it's only kind of high legend. Okay, we're gonna have to go off right now. Boom, into boom, into blurry, into boom. We have to choose something. We'll get another Naga off of this, which is nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get sticky situations. I don't care. Actually, I guess I do care. I should have first flamed first to deal with that. Um, let's go with Ruined Orb for resource generation. We are currently on the spell one, so we're going to go spell into spell coiler to get an extra spell. Take fireball. Just more burn damage. Um, we are currently on spell, so I want to go first flame. Then we want to go with this Ruined Orb. Oh shoot, this is ready. I should have played Ignite. We're gonna get Flurry, First Flame, Second Flame. 
We'll take explosive runes. Just anything we can do to get more damage. It's still on spell, so it's gonna go... Boom. And then boom. And then ignite. And then... We can ping his face as well. Pretty decent board we just set up. We can... We can flurry again real quick, just to... Just to freeze the stealth minion as well. Can't play scabs. Decent amount of pressure on board. Still have fireball and frozen touch. And some more burn damage. I definitely should have played ignite before I played... Second flame. Okay, to be fair though, playing what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12... And having to make like two or three decisions with discover for like 15 cards in, in one turn. It's hard, man. It's hard. Okay, I don't blame myself for that one. I don't blame myself for that one. I think we win, right? 12 damage showing plus frozen, frozen, fireball. Frozen. Fireball. We don't even need to do the other frozen. This is just lethal right here. Got him. Uh, yeah, none of these are... Bye bye get, get those all out of my sight. They're, none of those are keepable. Uh, Rune Dorb's cool. This is decent. Um, Arcane Intellect's okay. Wait, okay. So you're going to be Naga Priest. Which means we're going to need to randomly generate a Mass Polymorph or the Jellyfish or the, the, the four mana, like, Jail card. Locked up. Whatever it's called. I don't remember what it's called. Um... But yeah, that's, that's how we're going to beat a giant Naga Priest, assuming they don't pop off. We're going to try to pop off turn six. I think it's doable. Three. Boom, turn three, four, five, awkward. Turn six, we go up. Uh, I really wish that the Spirit Lash Siren was a zero cost card, or a four cost card, not zero. Jesus Christ, if it were four, if it was, if it were free, the game would be broken. <laughs> four cost, back to how it used to be. Because, like, on the one hand, yes, if it were four cost, it might be too fast. But, like, considering how fast you die to other things, like Curse Imp Lock, Hunter, Naga Priest, um, Miracle Rogue, I don't think it's necessarily bad. Like, actually, I don't think it would be bad at four mana. I understand why they did it in the past. They did it preemptively. But... I don't think it was bad. We're going to take Conan Cold for freeze purposes. We're going to need to try to survive. But I don't think it being 4 mana, 2, 5, would be terrible for this meta. The meta is just too fast and too strong. I think this deck is so much fun, though. I'm going to be honest. Like, when it goes off or it looks like it even has a chance of being good, it feels really good and fun. Refreshing. Fair enough. Draw two cards. Hopefully no mana gained. Shadow Step? Really? I mean, sure, whatever floats your boat, I guess. I'm down to ignite, um, and ping. No, he's trading. Oh shoot! Wait, never mind. Maybe we just go flurry. I'm not a huge fan of going flurry here though, but it does freeze both. We need two spells for you to be active. What is this one? Kona cold. Yeah, we can make this work. We can make this work. I could play Ignite first. No, I don't want to play Ignite first. We're going to have to play a lot of cards next turn. But I think we're able to play you. Then one drop. Two. See if we can find a cheap spell. One drop. Two. Maybe we can get back up to playing the Commander Savara. And then get a free flurry and keep the combo going, especially what we, depending on what we discover here. Yeah, we're just gonna ping and pass, actually. We could also just draw cards. Would I even draw a card? I draw one because of flurry. This doesn't feel very good to me. No, we played that in Arcane Intellect. We draw two. Yeah, I'm down to draw two. I'm down to draw two cards here. Rune Dorb and Rustrot Viper will trade the Rustrot Viper away and pass. Final answer, I think that's correct. You just uh, messing around with Siren. If not, you surrender. It's even worse than Priest X. I mean, I strongly disagree with you, but we're each entitled to our uh, own opinion on this, I guess. We're going to play the Siren. There it is. And then, uh... No, we need to save Kona Cold. Kona Cold actually might be decent later on. Boom, into Boom, into New Naga. 
We'll take, um, we'll take that one, I guess. I guess maybe the spell damage would have been better, but it's okay. Ignite. No, sorry. Second flame. What am I talking about? Then I'm going to play Commander. Oh, I forgot to play these. Commander Savar is actually so bad. Oh, man. I messed up. 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 What are we on right now? We're on a Naga. We'll, uh, Kona Cold, I guess. Then we'll go Ignite. I messed up so bad. Ruined Orb first. See if we can find a cheap thing. Pyroblast? No, I think Solid Alibi is better to just stay alive. Then we're going to go Boom. Then we're going to go Ruined Orb again. I big time messed up, by the way. Snap Freeze. And then also just... Ping. We'll save this for some burst damage, maybe. I messed up. But I don't think it was terrible. I should have played Ruined Orb first for Commander Savara. I was even thinking about it, but I saw one mana spell and got excited. It's really hard to play a ton of cards all at once. I'll be honest with you. Can we burst him down? I mean, a couple minions will die. We can go double Frozen Touch here. This thing ends up living. We can trade a 1-1 one, one in. We lose one damage. We get way, way, way more. How much is this? It's my turn. Is this lethal? So that's six, eight, plus eight. No, yeah, that's lethal. Boom, boom, ignite, and then these go face. I mean, yeah, this deck revolves around Siren, but I mean, multiple decks revolve around one or two cards. Like, that's why Theotar's so annoying.